Hey guys and welcome to the Stronger Olympic Lifting Series. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, a quick introduction. My name's Tyson. I'm 23 years old and a competitive Olympic lifter. I've been doing that for about a year. Now what this series is about is my first competition of 2014 and reaching the goals I'm setting for that competition. My first goal is a 110 kilo snatch and my second goal is a 135 kilo clean and jerk. Each video is going to encapsulate my week of training. There's four workouts every week following a program which I've made available for you guys in the description down below. Just click that, you'll see sets, reps, percentages that I'm working at each week, the exercises and the duration of the program, how long it actually goes for. A little bit of information that I think is important or I'm going to predict I'm going to get questions about. I'm competing in the 85 kilo weight class. I'm 5 feet 10 and a bit, just under 5'11". I'll be uploading a video every Thursday and in regards to supplementation, yes I am taking supplements during this series, whether it be pre-workout, during workout or post-workout. Be sure I'll let you know. Let's get straight into the workouts. This is my first workout coming off a two month break. Let's see how I go. The pre-workout for this session was Blue Raspberry C4 by Cellucor. My main critiques for this exercise, watching it back over, having my butt raise up first is not ideal because it transfers the weight forward away from the center of gravity where it is most stable. Jerks are generally a strong point of mine so I was fairly confident here but they turned out way tougher than I expected. I could possibly get the front foot out a bit further, but all in all I was pretty happy with this technique. Now I just need to do heavier weights. I found the first set the most difficult, as all the muscles active in the bottom of the squat were very tight. As I said, I hadn't been doing this kind of lifting consistently for about two months. The chest kept dropping and like in the clean, I needed to get a focus on getting the hips through and under the bar. I got a rhythm only taking one breath at the top before going back down and that seemed to work most effectively for me. What the pull is, is the entire movement up until just before you would actually get under it. So you need to be extremely aggressive for one, and be able to fully extend the body, giving yourself the biggest advantage you can and enough time to get under the weight. They felt decent when I was doing them, but looking at them now, they're clearly not as aggressive as they should be. Post-workout for this session was Vanilla Flavored Pro Antium by the Ronnie Cole series. So the gym I'm training at right now is on the Central Coast. I'm looking to move to Sydney, so I've joined this gym on the Central Coast for a month. And they have an Olympic lifting platform, they have bumper plates, they also have like a rope, rings. So that's really good. I wish that was actually here when I was, you know, living and training on the coast all the time. Generally I train in Sydney but I recently got a full-time job and with that full-time job there's not enough time to work, go to that gym in Sydney, come home, eat, 
you know, have a shower and everything um, and go to sleep. If I trained at gym in, at, at the gym in Sydney, I would be getting home at, a, you know, 11, 12 at night. I don't get much sleep right now anyway, how things are, because of all the travel involved, but it'll do. It's, it's close to home, which is what I need right now so that I can go here. Oh, and it's 24-7 as well. It's open all the time, which is excellent. Just what you need. I love how gyms do that now. My pre-workout for day two was, once again, the Blue Raspberry C4 by Cellucor. I also included an intro workout today, GNC's BCAA 5000. What you're seeing is the second set from the snatch for this workout. I'd previously done three sets before this, though only the last one counted because the first two were both misses. The snatch can still be quite inconsistent for me and this day was a perfect example of that. See, I was initially going to work at 90 kilos, but after those two misses at the start of the session, I decided to work at 85 kilos. I need to drill these cues more. I need to stand up, stay tight, get my head through and snap those feet. It might not look like much on video, but the focus and concentration that was going through my mind was massive. It took five attempts for me to hit a total of three successful snatches on set four and five. I knew I needed to be tight, but my mind felt relaxed and just wouldn't make that mind-body connection. Overall, it was a good start, but there are still a few things I need to improve on. I decided to keep this light at 70 kilos, not much at all, though keep in mind my best is only 90. At the moment you can see I'm catching it and then riding it down to that bottom position. I want to get into the habit of hitting that bottom position as soon as I drop under. I should be lifting heavier based on the percentage for this week, but once again, because I'm only just starting back, I'm being more modest with my choice of weights rather than overcompensating. Front squat in particular, I want to work technique. I need to fix it up with an emphasis on keeping the elbows and chest up. These pulls will be easy if they were done at the start of the session, but they're not. The program is structured this way on purpose, I think, so that even under incredible fatigue, you can still pull 5 to 10 kilos more than your best snatch. Most of the problems I see watching this are generally put down to fatigue. The main problem being that my butt isn't low enough. You can see my chest goes pretty far over the bar. My back is almost horizontal, which is not what you want. You want that butt down and the chest up, linear descent along the back. By sets four and five, I was virtually deadlifting the bar as the shrug just felt so weak. Post-workout, I had Inner Armour's Super Quad Protein. Aptly named, though it's referring to the four types of protein rather than the legs. The rust should start to be wearing off now, which it isn't really just yet. I've only done one session based around clean and jerk, one session based around snatch. Sleep has been pretty bad. I felt awful this morning and I had a headache the whole day. It's actually gone away now. I was in traffic from Sydney all the way to the gym pretty much. It was awful. I also haven't eaten that well today. I had a smoothie for breakfast. I had a tea. Ugh. Ugh. A tea. So I'm actually going to have a protein bar now, just before I go into gym. So the bar that I'm having is a Quest bar. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Quest range. I was introduced to the Cookie Dough Quest bar, and it is 
damn delicious. It's really good, actually. Tastes like cookie dough with a hint of that protein bar taste, but you can hardly tell. It's delicious. Try one if you have any Quest bars near you, or just, I don't know, buy it online if you want. So generally, I get all my nutrition from food. I try to, um, but I haven't today. Shame on me. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to do a taste test. I haven't tried this. This is uh, strawberry cheesecake. So I'm going to give it a go right now. Strawberry cheesecake, first time. <laughs> Pretty average. Nowhere near as good as a cookie dough. You're going to get a Quest Bar, cookie dough. I'm going to finish this. Then it's on to training. So I've just got in here and warmed up and I feel rotten, like really sick in the stomach. I don't think that protein bar did very good. Sure, I'm not hungry, but I feel awful. I was just doing my warm up and I had that fatigue setting in where you feel like you're gonna puke when you've done rigorous cardio. I'm just sitting here for a bit, waiting for it to pass and then I'll get into it. I don't mean for this to come across as negative. This is meant to be an inspiring workout series. But I want to document everything. So watch the epic workout I have, despite feeling sick. Pre-workout today was the Blue Raspberry C4 by Cellucor. The second set, the one you're watching, was probably my best set. The tiredness and fatigue was really affecting me as I missed the jerk during the third set. Being more concerned with meeting volume than meeting the weight, I dropped it down to 90 kilos, a 20 kilo drop for the last two sets of triples. Going back down to that 90 kilos obviously wasn't ideal, but I think it was the best choice I made for the situation I was in that night. Push press felt good. Definitely could have gone heavier, but as I said, I'm not going to push it this week. As with the last session of back squats, I learned to just take a deep breath in and go for it. It wasn't as hard as I'd anticipated here, considering how sick I felt beforehand, so that was really good news. After about the second and third set in, I had a confidence boost and just went from there. It was a really good set of back squats this night. This set actually looks lopsided. The barbell is at this gym. The knurling on the barbell is different to the gym that I usually train at. So my actual hand placement for clean and jerk was a tiny bit different. But this is something I might not have noticed if I hadn't taken my shirt off to actually look at what muscles were working when I reviewed the footage. There was no post-workout tonight. 
Okay guys, so I've got the lighting as best as I can. I just got home from gym, as you may be able to see. It's 11.12. I was at the gym for about three hours, I think. I felt terrible. This is probably the worst session I've ever had. <laughs> the main issue right now that I'm just trying to overcome, you see, is I need to go to bed. But I just finished working out. So my heart rate's still up. I'm still, I feel alert. I feel the most alert I've felt all day. <laughs> I have to go in and eat. I can't just go to bed on an empty stomach after having trained how I did. I need to have a shower. It's almost quarter past 11, so I'm not going to be in bed till, you know, midnight, 12.30 again. Then I need to get up at quarter to, quarter to seven again for the fifth time in, the, in a row. Getting back into it for the first week, everything is very demanding on me. It's just difficult right now because this is the, the start of it. I'm not used to it yet. Your body's an amazing thing. It will adapt. If you refer to the program, you'll see that the muscle snatch kicks off this session. You'll notice that the set and rep allocation has been replaced with the words technique. Now what this basically means is the muscle snatch isn't exactly an exercise incorporated into the program that you need to work at building up, building up a PB. It's just the exercise that you need to start off doing for today with an emphasis on the technique and have it carry over into your snatch work. I did three sets of this, one with the bar, two with 50 kilos. The focus is on a straight bar path extending all the way up to the top. I can get into some bad habits with the power snatch. Due to my perspective on the lift, being that the aim should be to catch it as high as possible, it can result in some very wide stances when I catch. You're also seeing some decent throwing back of the head, and I'm bashing my hips into the bar as well. Exaggerating those two movements has always been the reason I've missed a power snatch, such as here. With those bad habits that I have in terms of technique, once they start to creep into my set, they just seem to get worse and worse until I can actively, and it's odd, you think you would pick it up straight away, but sometimes it takes a little bit and I need to step back and go, hey, you're doing it. You're bashing the hips, you're throwing the head, the bar's not going up a straight bar path. So I just need to make, kind of make that realization and go from there. This exercise came out of nowhere. It's one of the most difficult, underestimated exercises I've ever done. I have push pressed about 80 kilos from this position, but try and see how much you can do with absolutely zero push. Literally, just press it. There is no bounce coming from the lower body. I was trying so hard not to bounce, and on some reps where I thought I'd done the exercise properly, I reviewed the footage in the gym straight after the set, and I could still see a bounce. It was ridiculous. I look extremely uncomfortable, but I was actually just trying to concentrate only generating force through the shoulders. Please give it a go so you can appreciate how difficult this is. Remember, any kind of momentum from the lower body and you're disqualified. How heavy can you do? Not much to say on the front squat here. You can see my elbows are dropping from this angle. I need to force them up all the way through.
Post-workout was the Vanilla Pro Antium by the Ronnie Cole series. And that sums up the first week of training, guys. If you have any questions about any of the exercises that I'm doing or the program in general, if you have any questions about Olympic lifting, please leave them in the comments section below. I'll try and answer them in the next episode. Remember, there'll be a new episode every Thursday, so be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week for week two of the Stronger Olympic Lifting Series. That's my dead face.